Hello my dear students and viewers, welcome to my channel Scorpio class. If you are looking for class 10 social studies notes of revised syllabus, then you are on the right platform and watching the right video. As in this video, we are going to discuss class 10 economics chapter, public finance and budget question and answers. This video is going to provide you all the question and answers of this chapter and it's going to be very helpful and informative for you all. So stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it. And my dear viewers, if you also want all the other lessons notes of class 10 social studies and of English subject, you can visit the description box and find the playlist link where you will find all the videos containing the notes. The link will also be shared in the i button above. Now let's get started but before that, if you are new to my channel and watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. Now let's quickly get started with the first main that is fill in the blank. The first one, the government manages the public finance through DASH and it is fiscal policy. In the budget, when the government's revenue is more than its expenditure, it is called DASH and it is surplus budget. Next, the person who presents the central government budget in the Lok Sabha is DASH. Answer is Finance Minister. Next, the revenue generated by the government through internal and external loans is DASH. Answer is Capital Revenue. So these were the fill in the blanks of this chapter. Now let's go to the answer the following in short, in one sentence. First question. What is meant by public finance? Answer, public finance means the finances of the government. Public finance studies the way the government manages its income, expenditure and debts. Next question, what do you mean by budget? Answer, the statement of estimated income an expenditure of a year prepared by the government is called budget. Next, give the meaning of deficit budget. Answer, if the expenditure is more than the income, it is called deficit budget. Next question, what are direct taxes? Answer, when the tax is paid by an individual on whom it is imposed, it is called direct tax. Next, express fiscal deficit in the form of a formula. Means you have to write the formula of fiscal deficit. So answer, fiscal deficit in the form of a formula is fiscal deficit is equals to revenue receipts plus non-debt capital receipts minus total expenditure. So this is the formula for fiscal deficit. Now let's move to next main that is answer the following questions in five to six sentences. These are long answers. Now first one is explain the differences between personal finance and public finance. Answer the differences between personal finance and public finance are personal or private finance relates income and expenditure of one person or one family. Individuals calculate their income beforehand and then spend it accordingly. Personal financial transactions are kept confidential. No public finance. Public finance relates to the income and expenditure of the government. The government calculates its expenditure first and then adjusts its income accordingly. Public financial matters are discussed in the legislative houses. So these are the differences between personal or private finance and public finance. Next question. Explain briefly the significance of public finance. Answer. The significance of public finance are the government through its fiscal policies formulates methods 
to equitably distribute the country's natural wealth, labor, and capital investment and tries to maximize the production. The government tries to ensure the equitable distribution of the income generated amidst all sections of the people and tries to see that all people live comfortably. It enhances the public expenditure in priority areas like agriculture, small-scale industries, and basic infrastructure. Developing countries like India utilize public finance in order to eradicate poverty and unemployment, regulate financial upheavals and commodity prices, and thereby establish financial stability. So these are the significance of public finance. Let's move to next question. List the plan expenditure of the central government. Answer. The plan expenditure of the central government are financial services, agriculture and agriculture related activities, industry, communication, fuel, science and technology, rural development, etc. Next is social services, education, health, hygiene, family welfare, drinking water supply, housing, social welfare, etc. And the third one is general services, the expenditure incurred on maintenance of peace, law and order. So these are the three of the main plan that is financial services, social services, and general services. So let's move to the next question. Explain the aspects of non-tax revenue of the central government. Answer, the aspects of non-tax revenue of the central government are the net profit earned by the Reserve Bank of India, the net profit generated by the Indian Railways, the revenue generated by the departments of post and telecommunications, the revenue generated by the public sector industries, the revenue generated by the coins and mints, and various types of fees and penalties, etc. Next question. What is fiscal deficit? Mention the four kinds of fiscal deficit. Answer. If the government's expenditure is more than its revenues, receipts, and non-debt capital receipts, it is called fiscal deficit. The four kinds of deficits are budget deficit, revenue deficit, fiscal deficit, and primary deficit. So with this question answers, we come to an end with the notes of this chapter. I hope these answers were helpful and informative. If you found the video, helpful, informative, and interesting. And if you liked it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. So subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.